Well, good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Holocaust Memorial Day. Let us come before the Lord. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And we, wherever we are, say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 16 Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, all my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. And in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He's at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices, my flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand the pleasures for ever. Give to us, Lord, Christ, the fullness of grace, your presence and your very self, for you are our portion and our delight now and for ever. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Titus chapter 2 verse 11 The grace of God has appeared bringing salvation to all. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. 
Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia. Christ, the light of the world. Alleluia. Has manifested his glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ the light of the world, Alleluia, has manifested his glory, Alleluia, Alleluia. And so, Father God, on this day when we remember the Holocaust, the Shoah, the desolation, as we, on this anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz Birkenau as we remember those who died in the Nazi death camps as we remember atrocities past genocides that have occurred throughout our history and especially the 20th century Father we thank you that we have lived in relative peace and yet our brothers and sisters around this world have seen lives taken wantonly, wickedly. We think of all that is Rwanda perhaps, or maybe we think of other places tonight alongside all that happened with the Jews and others in the death camps. And Father, as we face our own desolation at this time, in many nations of the world through COVID. We thank you that good men and women still act and stand and do right. We look at the example of the Ten Boom family in Holland who gave their lives to protect the innocents. Father, we come before you this night with sadness and sorrow over those lives in our history of a supposedly civilised world that have been taken, have been marred, broken. And Lord, as they have marred the image of you in them before the world, we come before you and pray that we, your church, would restore your image in this world. So we gather up our prayers, our thoughts, and we take all that is before us this night we take all that is heavy on our hearts, all that is wrong in our lives, all of this challenging in the lives of those for whom we pray and love, for the places in the world that we know only through the news. And we gather them up and we come before your grace, your mercy and love and ask that we may be changed, that the world might be changed. As we go to our beds, Lord, we bring to you all before us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father God, we look at the goings on in this world, for the conflicts, for the deaths, for the despotic and wrong governments, for the nations that are divided for the communities that are broken father we pray for the peace of this world for unity between the nations unity within the people of each nation that they would not be divided and we pray for the unity of the united states and the united kingdoms nations so divided 
and for our own united, disunited kingdom and our disunited America and other places. We pray that the governments would talk peace, would bring healing. Father, in this time of COVID, we pray that the nations would work together, not to stockpile and live in an I'm all right Jack way. But those who have much, may they share, and those who have little, may they know the love of other nations and the unity that is humanity made flesh in Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, for our nation, for the divisions, for the divisions in our own group of home nations, in the divisions in our own individual nations, the north and south divides. For that piece of water that separates Northern Ireland from the rest of the mainland. For Scotland, a proud nation that is also divided in so many ways. For Wales, a place of so much, so much history. Lord, together we are strong, together we are. We are unbeatable, not because of national pride, but because of the character of our four peoples united. So we pray for our home nations this night, that your love, that your peace, that your presence would be in each and every one of them and that we would work for the good of all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we pray for those who will grieve this night. We pray for those who grieve over ancestors lost in bloodshed, in genocides throughout the world over the generations. Father, we pray for those this night who will watch loved ones die or worse still will have a phone call to say they've gone by COVID or other means. Loss is loss and we pray that they may rest in peace and rise in glory, those who have gone. And that those who mourn this night will know your peace, your presence and with confidence look to the resurrection and the dead are raised and humanity is one. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those in our hearts, on our walls, the photographs, for the loved ones who are no longer with us, for someone who perhaps gave you love, gave you life, brought you into the world, brought people into the world with you. Father, we lay before you those we love and see no longer. We lay those we love and who live now with needs, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. For those with financial needs as jobs are gone and income is diminished, for those who are young and starting their careers and we we thank you for the stories we've heard this day of people with new jobs and new promise for lord in you the old does disappear and the new does come so we pray for all on our hearts this night as we lay everything before you Lord, visit us with your peace, bring us to rest and take the burdens of this day and the joys. And as we go to bed, bring us rest. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer.
Almighty God, whose Son revealed in signs and miracles the wonders of your saving presence. Renew your people with your heavenly grace, and in our, all our weakness sustain us by your mighty power. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. And so with confidence we come before the Lord and say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So, Lord, come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. And may the living waters of Christ cleanse us. May the Spirit descend upon us. And the blessing of God be with us this night and always. Amen. So as you go to your beds, may you and those for whom you pray know God's peace, mercy and grace this night. And as we leave all behind, may God's love surround us and uphold us. And may we wake tomorrow to a promise of a new day. A day in which we can make this world better by the inspiration of God's Holy Spirit working through us. Guys, stay safe, sleep well, be blessed. And we'll catch you tomorrow. Good night, bless you. Thank you for being part. Bye.